Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for tuning in. So today is Saturday and I'm super excited. I'm gonna go check out uh, Myat Khan Tha, which is a Burmese restaurant located in Yangon and I've been so excited to try it for ages but I just haven't had the time to get down there. If you guys recall, in one of my Day in the Life videos, I actually planned to go there and then we realized halfway through that it wasn't open on a Sunday. But today is Saturday and um, we're gonna go head down there and try it. Um, my main goal is to try some new Burmese food as well as figure out whether or not um, this is actually the best Burmese restaurant in Yangon um, and see if it's whether a fact or a myth. Um, I've heard that it's very busy so we should go early so we're gonna go at 12 o'clock so hopefully the food doesn't run out and that there's plenty to try still. Um, so let's go and explore and see if it's a really good yummy food. Woohoo! My outfit of the day, cute and casual. Um, it's definitely gotten a lot more cool in Yangon, which is super nice, and it's like the perfect December weather. So it's like winter, but not really. I let Alex do all the food choice and got a lot of dishes. Wow. Some, I think penny wood. Penny wood salad. Okay. So it's all kind of yum. So we've gotten all our food, and I think a lot of it is just kind of cooked with the same base of like chili and tomato and I don't know, whatever else they put in their oil. But it looks so good, and I'm keen to eat. Trying the fish. and then yuppie. Um, the mutton is really really nice as well. I had the mutton. Um, I haven't tried this yet but I'll try soon. But, um, oh, what? Mm. The meat's really well cooked. Like, all the meat in all the dishes so it's very soft and tender. Um, really good place, really good ambiance, really fun. This um, chili sambal is, I think it's like prawn, like shrimp, and then a nyapi, and then chili, maybe tomato sauce, all mixed in. I can't say exactly what it is, but it's really nice. It's kind of like a Burmese sambal, it's a bit drier, not so oily. I really like this fresh platter of vegetables they give. The veggies are so nice. I'll just eat it. So, She's tired. 
So we've just finished our delicious meal at Myakantha. Um, thoroughly enjoyed it and definitely we'll be taking my family there um, because they're coming like next week and the week after. So I'm super excited. Um, I think that the like environment and the ambiance it's just really awesome. It's very hustle bustle. There's so many people. Um, the food definitely does run out though. Like we had a look and the food definitely runs out after, after like an hour or two. So definitely go early if you're going to go to Myakantha. Um, it wasn't like super cheap, but it was reasonable. It was like 35,000, which is 35 Australian dollars for um, all our dishes. But we did also eat a lot of food as per usual. Um, but now we're just at Hipples Park across the road just having a look around and also looking at this big aeroplane. Big aeroplane. <laughs> it's an old plane. Whoa. Whoa. Oh. Oh, it smells a bit dusty. Oh yeah, I'd fly in this. It's a bit dusty. Not gonna come in. <laughs> oh, Myanmar Airways used to be. Wow, interesting. I mean, it's in pretty good nick. Whoa, whoa! You can see the pilots. What's the cockpit? Whoa! We could fly a plane, but not really. Hmm. So that was definitely the uh, historical site that nobody asked for, but you know, it was the historical site we deserved. <laughs> I don't think Alex is that intrigued. <laughs> no, not having a bar of it, but it was random, but kind of cool. But yeah, guys, you can come check out an old Myanmar Airways airplane in People's Park off Alone Road. Why not? It's a Saturday. Second day having a walk around People's Park it's very lovely a good post it's a good post feed walk and detox <laughs> I want to climb that thing oh people can are on it we should go up <gasps> we're running ah! <laughs> these water sprinklers are out of control <laughs> it's gonna spray us oh no how do we get through? It's like a video game, but you got to bolt. Well, yeah, go, 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 Traumatic. Make it out alive. That was so funny. We um, finally found a, par a bench in the park after after getting attacked by sprinklers and walking in mud and not finding a path. But we've had one. And now we're just going to relax and let our bodies digest. Um, so, yes. I think Myakantha is the best Burmese restaurant in Yangon purely because I haven't, I've only been to like two other Burmese restaurants in Yangon so for now that is my review but as I try more maybe that will change but I do think that Myakantha is really really good um, the food is really delicious um, there's a good variety of meats and the meat is very well cooked um, as well as that the atmosphere is really fun it's hustle bustle um, and very a little bit chaotic but in a nice way and um, very reasonably priced um, and it's good for like a maybe a big group of people to go I think if you go with two people it's like you can't eat as much stuff like not a big variety but if you're like us and can eat a lot then you can eat a big variety no matter how many people there are um, so I really enjoyed it and I think you guys should definitely check it out. Um, I hope this video gave you guys an insight into what the best shop's like um, and that you guys go visit yourself. So thank you so much for watching. Um, I wanted to give you guys all a well, wish, well wishes for the holiday season. Um, if you celebrate Christmas and as New Year comes around, have a great um, Christmas and New Year's. Uh, I will not be posting next week as my family's coming to visit and I'm going to prioritise um, 
relaxing and enjoying my time with them. So I really thank you guys all so much for the support that you have shown me this um, year. It's been a really great ride, this whole um, 2019 vlog year, uh, the first year that I've really, uh, you know, started to video every week. So it's been so much fun and I really can't wait to go on a new adventure with you guys next year. So thank you so much for joining me um, and Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Bye!